Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, ich freue mich noch mal hier Sie zu begrüßen zu dem Talk. Ich ähm, würde äh, jetzt mit Bano. Ah, sorry, I'm switching it to English. Yes, I will talk English now. So I um, one work I have not spoken about upstairs. Uh, I mean downstairs about the work upstairs, which is an installation, a site-specific installation you did in the in the past already and also here where you um, introduce three colors into the institutional architecture. Can you tell us about that particular work? Uh, sure. Do, do, I, do I need that? Do you hear me? Oh, okay. Um, well, yes. Um, well, thank you, first of all, to, 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 to bear us after, like, <laughs> you know, we are still here talking about, like, in different forms, this, the same content. Uh, yes, the, 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 the trilogy of these three colors, yellow, red, and green, is very important to me. And um, because I, I mean, it might look for some very simple colors, you know, right? Even like the traffic lights. Um, and for some, it represents something else. It represents certain um, resistance. It's represents resistance to, to repression, to, to um, the violence, to, to trespassing human rights. And, uh, and for some, it represents uh, who resists. You know. So where I come from, uh, it's, um, those colors uh, were representing a big danger for the state, simple colors. Uh, because they were sharing the same color as the Kurdish flag. And so in the 90s, the city of Diyarbakir, the authorities wanted to change the traffic lights because they couldn't even bear to see on a normal day on the, on the city. And so, for, for, I mean, this, I didn't experience this myself and, um, because I, I don't live in Diyarbakir. But I live on the western side of the, of the country. And unfortunately, that polarization was very well constructed by the state between the eastern part of the country and the western part of the country. So, um, so it is it's a very simple, small um, gesture I decided to take on. And if I, when I can, I like to introduce those three colors um, within this architectural structure, existing ar architectural structure of the institution. So I um, managed to do it in the first time in 2015 in Bonn. Uh, also, the Bonn at Kunstverein was very close with the, uh, the Kurdish neighborhood in the, in the institution. So I really wanted to have a, a very simple uh, hello to the, to the community. Uh, of course, bearing in mind also, I mean, this is a ridiculous gesture when there is a lot of um, crime going on, you know. Um, so it is, it's, but it is still, I, I care about that gesture. I also care a lot about the possibility, different possibilities of reading of this trilogy. And uh, because this is also, I, it, would be, it would be wrong to reduce to only to this reading. Um, and also, I think it's, it's it kind of overcasts the, the architecture. I mean, if you're still around at nine, nine, around nine o'clock, 9.30, you will see different shades and shadows and rockets uh, in the room. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I would like to continue. I mean, also this is like, a, I'm very happy that we managed this. Also, we thank you for this occasion to Stephanie. And uh, it was a very, uh, very, you know, quite a challenging process. <laughs> So yeah, so this is, uh, this is about this work. And I think what's also important, what you kind of mentioned already uh, a little bit, that, the, 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 that these three colors on the one hand can, is a, like an invitation to think about the symbolic of colors and is also like an invitation to discuss like different, like very um, like, like harsh and polarized like opinions that can be like projected onto colors and also like the banality or kind of the not the banality the the um, the um, like how 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 um, how 
open these colors are for interpretation and how how weird it might might sound or kind of like how surprising it might might sound if if we hear that in the 90s these colors were about to be banned as as uh, traffic lights in a city in, in in eastern turkey and the yeah no i just wanted to say i think sohrab is not here right um when we were talking about the possibility of this work to make another intervention in new york he sent me the, the text of Felix Gonzalez Torres with the, with the, with the Palestinian uh, colors paintings, um, where, he, where he showed in New York um, in, in the late 80s. I, I don't remember the exact date, but um, he was saying, he was, he, and, and the caption of the piece was a letter that he kind of addressed to the audience, and he says, I know the kind of the, the, almost the perversity of putting these colors in a gallery in New York, when people are kind of killed because of these colors in Palestine, or in, in Israel, you know, like these colors is a reason of arrest. And now I'm, we are in New York gallery and people are, you know. So I think these kind of interventions bear this conflict all the time. You know, we are in an ex-parliament building in Dusseldorf, in the city of Dusseldorf, where there is a huge community of, 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 of Kurdish, uh, people, um, but also <laughs> Ethiopians. I mean, the other day we were in a, in a neighborhood where the same form was repeated for Ethiopian restaurant. Also in exactly. a window. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the thing. I think it's um, how do we see things without all these kind of abstractions and, and as a reductions, which unfortunately, um, you know, the, the the regime or like the you know that kind of mind cannot free that. From from that um, from that violence, which is embedded in in, in the system, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah. Also, this you can like feel like the, the fear and the and the, the the political kind of tension and fear of like because these colors like might be interpreted as like a solidarity. So like it's also there. It's like the the, the kind of the tension. Like there is such a big fear of like this this these colors symbolizing a solidarity with a with an ideology with a with a with a um, great community of people that that are like banned. They're like yeah, and, and the and for, for the struggle for the resistance. I think that's mm -hmm. that's the yeah that's kind of absurdity mm -hmm. um, of per, of perception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to also ask you, um, there is, I, I talked about the film, the film has several titles. The film has, is, is titled the 1st of January 1970 to, to third, the 21st of March 2018. It's how be it. It's guilty feet have no rhythm. It's kesi, kesi boynusu. <laughs> kesi boynusu. Kesi boynusu. It's as is. It's mur murmur, murmur. Mur -mur. It's mm -hmm. I measure every grief I meet. It's tak you rock. Takurak. Takurak. A piercing comfort it affords. Stitch. Made in fall. Yes, but we ha we had a golden heart. One day soon I'm gonna tell the moon about the crime game. These are many tiles. It's a very big work. Tell us more about the titles. Um, well, it's a long work, so it needs one was not enough, you know. Um, I mean, they all stay with me during the making of, so um, because I don't know the, if everyone was there when Anna was talking about the work, but uh, as a methodology, what I did, I kind of collected all the uh, visual data from all the electronic devices. Um, starting from 2006, June. So I had to put everything in a, in a pool and then chronologically ordered by creative date. So of course you watch things over and over. Not to edit, but kind of montage together. <laughs> and then, then things start to get a bit confusing. What is present, what is past. You know, John was born and then she's seven years old and then she's a baby again. You know, uh, my mom, we lost my, my mother in the 2017 and then suddenly she was back. So every day I was watching and then suddenly I start to kind of have this circular 
kind of, you know, like, and, and it felt like nothing is present, nothing is past, you know, everything. And then, of course, a, a section I, I, I watched is like um, an exhibition I did in, 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 in let's say, in, in, in Guangzhou, and then I remembered something triggers and a, and a title comes. And then in, in general, the titles are really important part of my work. I, it's not just titles, it's really, really to go together with the work. And then the other night, I watch um, Gezi, Taksim Square events. And, and then there's another effect, right? And then the other night, the, the next night, I watch the, the opening of, of our first show uh, with Sylvia, and you know, being drunk, and something else comes. And then the birth of my daughter, and then, you know, I, so, and I, I, I was like, okay, I cannot really say all these things in one title. Um, doesn't work. And then, meanwhile, I was reading. I, I mean, I have a bad habit. I read things in simultaneously. I read fiction and then the theory and then, and then, uh, but all like few pages and then I jump and, and then I start to have all these lines in my head. And then I was reading the Clarice Lispector, a dark, the Hour of the Star, which has, she had 13, 12, 12 titles, option. But then at, at, the, at the beginning of the book, it was like, or, 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 the hour of the star, or, or. So I was like, okay. She was, she was giving options, and then she chose one. I'm like, what about if I can just end? Because I want all of them. And, and apparently, I don't like to choose, as you can see. <laughs> um, Somehow I didn't want to create uh, the best of the titles, so I kept everything that stayed with me over the eight months of, of making th this, this montage. Um, and then Kechi Boynuzu is very especially dear to me because I think this is a, a kind of nice anecdote. Kechi Boynuzu is, um, is, is carob. In this plant, carob in English. Uh, the other day we were saying in German. Uh, it's not a fruit plant, it's a plant. Which is. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. Yeah. The straight translation from Turkish is the goat uh, horns. Horns. Okay, yeah. cheese, goat, and. And so, two things. One is like, um, you know, it's, it's a tough plant. You have to chew, chew, chew very long time to get a bit of flavor. Um, so my mother used to like this a lot, as also just as a, as a to eat. But also, she thought I'm I'm like a kechi boy, you know, in order. So it's a lot of effort for a little pressure, and also but my work is like a bit kechi boy, you know, so. so it's like so we used to joke a bit like this, like I, you work so hard at the end you have a bit of a pleasure. So I think this work is, is very demanding. Um, I don't know what, you, no promise of, of message. Also, I don't know what you're gonna get at the end of the day, if you're gonna see 300 pages of a book, or, um, or you know, at, at a karaoke party, or a memorial for Hurak Dink, um, or people singing in a, in a room. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.